Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Cooking from the Garden. I'm Miss Jujunta, and today we're going to be making pesto. Pesto is a green Italian sauce that you can put on pasta, on cooked meat, on vegetables, on a sandwich. It's just a great little sauce or almost like a little condiment that you can add to so many things. Um, I love it because it has kind of a, a brightness to it. And that's thanks to the herbal base that this sauce is created from. Traditionally, that's going to be basil, but we're gonna be using something uh, from our gardens. Uh, it's the middle of April, and I've gone ahead and picked my carrots. And it's so important to use, I think, the whole vegetable, if it's edible, eat it. Of course, carrots that we eat are the root of the plant, but the stems of carrots and the leaves are edible as well. Um, we're also going to be using some spinach. We'll be using some extra virgin olive oil, a clove of garlic. We'll be using pecorino today, but any hard um, cheese will work. Um, Parmesan, for example. Um, traditionally, this recipe calls for European pine nuts, but we're going to be using pecans. And this is super easy. We're just going to put everything into uh, the blender and blend it. That's it. We're not going to cook anything. Pesto gets its name um, from Italian, from pesta, which refers to um, crushing the the plants in a mortar and pestle dish, like this. Um, but we're going to be using more advanced technology today <laughs> with the blender. So I'm going to get rid of this mortar and pestle. All right, um, we're just going to go ahead and start putting our food in here. Of course, wash your greens if they haven't come pre-washed. I sometimes like to give them a rinse anyway. Um, I went ahead and already cut the stems off the carrots. We don't need um, all of the stem. You can eat it, but it can be a little bitter. So I'm cutting that off as well. This can go into my um, veggie bag in the freezer that I use for uh, making veggie stocks. Or you can compost it um, or give it to your chickens. We all have chickens, right? That's normal. All right, I'm gonna set that aside. Just gonna give this a couple of cuts and stick this in my blender. Gonna add my pecans. You could use any sort of nut, peanuts, um, pecans, walnuts, macadamia nuts, other seeds. It's really up to you. Uh, I'm just gonna cut this garlic a little bit. Oh boy, oh geez. Find the flat end. There we go. Of course, the blender's gonna do so much of the work here, guys. I'm just giving it a couple little cuts. And we're gonna top this off with extra virgin olive oil. You can always add more oil if you need to. Um, if you can do this in a food processor or a blender that allows you to add liquid as you go, um, that's ideal. We're gonna blend all of this um, for just a, well, I don't know, a few seconds. Check it, scrape the sides if we have to. If it gets too thick, you can add more olive oil or add some water. Um, when it's done, it should have kind of a thick paste consistency, like this. Um, I, um, I wouldn't recommend adding any salt or pepper until the end. Your cheese can get pretty salty, and you don't want to, um, you don't want to oversalt the dish. The great thing about pesto is a little bit goes a long way. I'll take the leftover pesto that we don't use and um, fill it into ice cube trays. And then you can pop these out of the freezer whenever you need it, and one ice cube tray is good for one person on you know whatever you're having. Um, plenty of flavor in here. Uh, you can definitely make this your own. Um, add fresh herbs if you want. Basil's traditional. You can change up the seasoning. Um, make it your own thing. But you're gonna make, you can make pesto with fresh greens from the garden this spring. Thanks, everybody. Hope to see you again soon.